and we are at Efteling. Woo! <laughs> oh my God, it's so good to be here. I'm so happy. I literally, you told me last week that we would be here. I would not believe you. <laughs> literally. So it's amazing, so good. So we're just standing by the lake at the minute. Um, and that's, I believe that's Fata Morgana over there. We did, oh, over there. We didn't actually get to do that last time because it was closed for refurbishment. So I'm really excited to do that. I've got a coffee, which is really good. <laughs> we woke up in the uh, hotel this morning and there's no kettle. Didn't even, didn't even notice. So happy I've got my coffee. And the coffee tastes great here, so that's good. Mm -hmm. So where shall we head to first, Joe? I think we should do Fata Morgana because we've not done it yet. Best themed cash machine in the world. So epic. <laughs> <laughs> the steampunked. I can't believe all that just for a cash machine. It's cool. It's really weird here because you don't have to wear masks anywhere and no one is wearing masks. So you kind of feel like the odd one out wearing a mask. Um, I think I'll still wear my mask in the queues and stuff. So the big things that we're excited to do to do today are the things that we haven't done. So obviously, like we said, we, we're going to go do Fata Morgana now. Mm -hmm. We're really excited for that dark ride because it's like world renowned. It's won awards, all sorts of stuff. Um, Max Amorit, which is the new um, powered coaster that's just opened, um, took the uh, spot of Bob. And the last time we was here, they were actually uh, demolishing Bob, weren't they? Yeah, the whole area was boarded up and we could see like the lift hill being taken down, which was kind of cool. Shame yeah. we didn't get to ride it, but... Oh, we're also going to see Revelin as well. Uh, yeah, which... we've booked the time for that as well, three o'clock. That's a really cool show. It looks really good. I've seen the, from the footage I've seen. So yeah, really looking forward to that. It's looking good, isn't it? We yeah. didn't come in this bit last time. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I believe it's about a 60 minute wait for Fata Morgana. Um, the thing is with Efteling, there's a lot of cattle pen queues um, and something I've seen that's pretty good to combat that is that they're actually putting like screens up everywhere. Um, I'll, I'll give you a little glimpse when we get in the queue. We kindly of ask you all this in the cases of one of the for others. You are not allowed to stand on the land and the red mark is empty. Thank you. So we're now in the queue for Fata Morgana. As you can see, you saw on the white things and you leave the red one to empty. In the queue. How was it long, was it? That was about 40 minutes. It's a cool station. But having these lines on the floor makes it so easy to follow. Yeah. You just stay on the way. Yeah. I think our park should do this on the floor with the tape. Yeah, it's a lot. Not everyone's going to stick to it, but it's still like, it just, just makes it more clear. It's visual because it's in your head more, isn't it? Yeah. Here we go. Just did Fata Morgana. What do you oh, think, Joe? It was so, so, so good. It was brilliant, that was it. it. Like all the details, it was so immersive as well. Like you literally felt like you were transported into like Agrabah or something. Yeah, it was just, it's uh, like, it's, it's an old ride, but 
it's still just so impressive. Yeah, the animatronics in there were wicked, weren't it's they? It's basically, imagine Pirates of the Caribbean, hundred times better. It was way better than Pirates. <laughs> yeah, it really was. <laughs> I know it's a weird comparison. Well, it's not a weird comparison. No, it's it was a boat really, ride. And they were really in, similar. Yeah. They were quite similar. Because you go through the marketplace bit, like the bazaar, and then yeah. you go into like the King's Palace, and they're all having a big party, and then, yeah. But even awesome. though like we couldn't understand like the language, that probably had a better story than Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm sorry, it just yeah, did. agreed. <laughs> yep. Just a hundred times better. Oh, I so want to do that again. I and loved that it. bit where there's a bit in there. This is like a bit of a spoiler, but there's a bit in there where. Um, the room tips, so oh, it's yeah. like a it's like a mini madhouse inside a water ride, which just blew my mind. Yeah, because you feel like your boat's tipping, but it's not, it's the room. Yeah, exactly. And now this is where Max and Moritz currently is. So, uh, I don't know where it currently is, yeah. <laughs> it's moving soon, no it's not. <laughs> so we want to get a snack, I think, because we've not had any breakfast. Are we going to go there? Chips and snacks? Yeah. So like I say, this is uh, Max and Moritz, um, and it just, just the, like even the theme in just from here looks brilliant. Um, looks really good. Oh, if you've seen any other vlog from the Netherlands, you'd have seen these uh, little hole in the walls. And these are all the snacks that are actually really nice. Cheese snack. Cheese snack. Do you want a cheese snack or for now? Cheese snacks. Joe's food guru. Cheesy. Cheesy. Right, list of so, food, Spirelio, Stroot Waffle and Special Fritz. That's going to be my snacks for today. Done. Potato, potato, potato. Yeah! So we're going, we decided to come and do Max and Moritz while it's on 35 minute wait. Um, and then after this we're going to go do Baron. So really excited to try this out. It looks uh, so cool, doesn't it? It looks really cool, the theming looks good. Um, and we'll show you what the actual inside looks like as well. And plus, I'm allowed to film on the rise today, um, as long as you've got a chest-mounted GoPro. So we're going to try that out. So yeah, we'll see you on ride. That's so funny. Go. Awesome go on Max and Moritz there, really, really love that. Oh, Did you like it? Yeah, it was wicked. We got front row on Max. Oh yes, front row, front row special. <laughs> it's cool how you do the two laps as well though and it goes extra fast because it launches yeah. you through the station. Yeah, it's really good. So the second lap is actually a lot quicker. Yeah, it's really good like family coaster. I'm at, like a really good addition for the park, fits in so well. Yeah. Like, Everything is so good at like coming up with new rides but fit in the park uh, aesthetic as well. So as you can see, we're now heading to Baron, 1898. Oh. It's a great ride, isn't it? Yeah, I'm so excited to 
do it again. It's really good. Um, it's not like an, an outstanding coaster, but the theming and the pre-show and everything makes up for it, like massively. And it's better than Oblivion. That drop is it's nowhere near intense as Oblivion. I prefer this one. Go on there on Baron. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? So good. Well, it was about an 80 minute wait, was it? Yeah, to be fair, the queue times are spot on. Whatever it says on the app is what it's been yeah. so far. Well, uh, Fata Morgana was actually 45 minutes there, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, that one was yeah. shorter. But yeah, really good. Still prefer Oblivion, but theming wise. Yeah, the uh, theming and the story of Baron is just amazing. <laughs> it makes it for me. But in other news, we have the long awaited. Special fruits. So this is just obviously like normal chips, but with this amazing dip. And let's see what Joe. We had these last year. Oh Still yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay. Special fruits done. Now we've got to leg it over to watch Ravelin. Yeah, we've got um, a pass between 10 past and 25 past, so we've got about 10 minutes to get over there and scan it. We're all good. Dream flight over there, or uh, Dream Fluke, and Ravelin over here. What are you going into now? Hello. Uh, yeah, we've got our boarding pass. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Just in time. I'm excited about this. We really was gutted we couldn't do it last time. 
The level of detail in this park really just amazes me. That looks so and a beer. Okay, so we just did Ravelin. Yeah, we did. What are your thoughts? Um, it was a little bit disappointing. Yeah. It wasn't running the full show. We'd seen clips where it had like this big dragon and stuff in it. And we got a bit of show on the horses, didn't we? But also where we were sat right around the edge and there was a big pillar, we missed a lot of the action. So we were trying to see what was going on, didn't yeah. we? I think it's definitely, I think the problem is it was a reduced show and we didn't know that until we kind of sat down and we heard on the announcement it is a reduced show. I want to see the full show though, I want to see the proper show and next time hopefully we can do it, so. Yeah, uh huh. Awesome. And then we just did Dream Flight. Yeah, which was right next to it. I love Dream Flight. <laughs> yeah, I love the second scene when you the, when you go through and you've got like a, the fairy guard and the second scene and it's just flowers everywhere and it's so epic. That's yeah. when you're like really high up. And then you go through that bit that's kind of like uh, the space, isn't it, with all the yeah. twinkling in lights? And then you come out, and it's uh, it's got the castles and the planets and stuff. It just that was the scene I completely forgot about, yeah. but I love that it. That star tunnel is really trippy. It actually feels like you're going through like into space, doesn't it? It's a pretty old ride, but it still stands up with the rest of the park just because it has that effling feeling. So I absolutely love that ride. Um, and that was a really short queue, actually. It was a, it was only like a five minute queue. So yeah, it is pretty busy to be fair now. Yeah, definitely busier than yeah. it was this morning. Um, I think after this we're gonna go, where are we gonna go after this? Fairy um, tale Forest? Yeah, do the fairy tale Forest. We still need to get in the Flying Dutchman. Yeah. Symbolica, George and the Dragon. George and the Dragon. George and the Dragon's gonna be next, that little next ride I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's quite an epic queue as well, so yeah. get that one done. We'll do that. But, yeah. I really wanna do that one at night time as well, once it's dark. Yeah, if we can get that in at night. The dueling coasters. <laughs> That's the thing, there's so much to do here. Like, we wouldn't wanna do Aquanora, but it's like, I wanna get in night rides as well. Yeah, <laughs> so. this is 100% a two day park. Yeah. <laughs> So we've just been on the uh, carousel. That is like a really, really old carousel. I can't remember where it was, but it used to be steam powered. It's now electric. But it's really cool. This is the entrance to the fairy tale forest. I love that they have these cute little basket bins everywhere in Efteling. <laughs> Even in like the pop-up queue lines, they had those bins around and people are using them, so yeah, it's good. Oh, and shout out to the gardener and landscapers of Efteling as well, honestly. I'm sure they have awards already, but if they don't, they need commending. All the flower arrangements, everything around here is so good. Ingang? We walked this backwards last time, I think. I think we did, yeah. Well, not backwards, but the other way. Yeah. I kind of remember coming out and seeing this last. If this is the uh, Sleeping Beauty castle. Yeah, it is. There she is, sleeping. The views out over. <laughs> Bit of snoozing as well. Like you, Joe. <laughs> it's so cool like, you can just walk around and like all these little hidden bits, isn't it? Yeah. It's really good. It kind of what makes the park special, isn't it? Oh, hundred percent. I bet no matter how many times you come here, you'd always find something new that you never spotted yeah, before. I, I, it is honestly like that. Big mushroom house. <laughs> A musical mushroom. 
a little house and they pop out the window. So they've blocked off certain ways now as well. You used to be able to just free rain really and just wander and get incredibly lost. <laughs> oh, look who it is! It's our mate Long Neck. Oh my god, it's so funny. <laughs> Sean, it's our mate Long Neck. Such a long neck. <laughs> The longest neck. Oh. He's retracting it now, look. These talking bins at Efteling are just epic. He goes, Papier here. Hey! He sucked it up. He's <laughs> trying to put. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a kid put a coffee cup in it and it got stuck in his mouth, which is why it's now like dribbling coffee. <laughs> he didn't know what to do before he broke it. <laughs> Looks like we've got Red Riding Hood coming up. You can see her knocking on Grandma's door. <laughs> Ja, That's not dat was nou even van de grote boze wolf. En de kat. Heel dat over here. We got this guy. <laughs> so you can go out or you can go the longer route. We're going to go find the tree. See, that's what's so cool about this forest, man. You just turn a corner and you don't know what you're going to see. <laughs> Do you love the forest? I love the forest. It's my favourite bit. <laughs> it's so fun, isn't Even it? Even out there with the rides, I just love it. It's got such a good feeling to it. It's awesome. You never know what you're going to see in here. Well, I guess if you've been here 50 times, you might have a clue, but... <laughs> You just miss things all the time, don't you? I'll make that my mission. Next time you come to Efteling, I'll be able to give a guided tour on this forest and yeah. learn about all the different things. Look. <gasps> this is Rapunzel's tower. Full on appreciation for this. <laughs> I'm all for it. his treasure. See, look, they're on it. See, you can fit in it. <laughs> if you can fit in it, I can fit in it. <laughs> exactly. Rallying around. <laughs> Jeez. That is freaking <laughs> The wolf and the seven kids. Kind of similar to our three little pigs then. We did this walk backwards last backwards, time. Yeah, so. we definitely did. Oh, they've got a board game on the go. Looks like Hansel and Gretel. Oh, did it eat the walls? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Huge gingerbread house. Got pretzels on it? <laughs> yeah. They're so dark, all these fairy tales, aren't they? Uh, the, yeah, I reality, love it. <laughs> and the actual original version, the Brother Grimm version, are like way darker <laughs> as well. Oh, look, in the doorway. Oh, yeah. We've got an exciting thing down here. Okay, we've got the frog and the golden ball, which is quite cool. 
Well, we also have the donkey that poops golden coins that you got to try and catch. And it's so much fun. I caught the one last time, so we need to see if Sean can catch one this shit this time. Yeah. Are you going to catch it? I'll try. Probably not. <laughs> He's never gonna get it. I believe in you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you caught it. Really nice try. <laughs> at least you got your souvenir. Kind of calculating that as well. I was looking at where everyone else has landed. <laughs> Went to that spot. I still didn't get it. It's <laughs> different every time. <laughs> There's the coin that you get. The golden poop. <laughs> it's so much fun, that donkey. <laughs> they do so well here with all their floral arrangements, their bedding plants, everything is just immaculate. And you actually see them walking around as well, you know, like picking out the weeds and stuff and just making sure everything's lovely and tidy. Even the wildflower beds look amazing. There's the golden ball. The epicenter of the fairy tale forest. <laughs> this dude. Papia! 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 Looks like he's gonna sneeze. I remember this one. I think this one's Rumpel Stilt Skin. <laughs> Yeah, rumple <laughs> So epic. Where's the tree? I think I can hear it down here. Oh, I've seen some owls down here, which is cool. The tree is being renovated. We found the tree and the tree's boarded up. That would have made the vlog. <laughs> Long neck and the tree is what make it. <laughs> Are you heartbroken? A little bit, a little bit. I'll tell you what, let's have a peek over. Can we see you? I'm trying to find the tree the whole time. That little tour around the fairy tale forest. It was very much a whistle stop tour. Because <laughs> we've only got a day here and we want to try and get everything else in. It was awesome though. I love spending a bit of time in here and just like getting lost in the fairy tales. Yeah. It's wicked, that's, isn't it? That's what I mean. Like even though we've only got a day here, it's a must do for us. Mm -hmm. We just love it. Yeah, it's wouldn't so miss good. it. <laughs> it's like it makes Efteling. It's it's what started Efteling basically. So it's like coming to Efteling without doing the fairy tale forest, even though we've done it before. You just can't do it. Yeah. Just gotta do it. And there's so many hidden little gems in there as well. Like every corner you turn, you see something and yeah. it's all interactive as well. And just seeing the kids walking around, absolutely loving it. Normally, because awesome. there's lots of things to go inside of as well. So my personal favorite is, um, is it called The Girl With The Matches? Oh yeah. That was a really good one. So you can go inside the buildings and see little like shows by animatronics. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really good. Obviously we didn't do that today just because there was queues and stuff and we just needed to do a whistle stop tour. Still took us about 45 minutes to get around it, didn't it? Yeah, so, it did to be fair, yeah. But you can spend, you know, half a day going around. Oh, 100%, 100%. And I'd, I'd recommend it as well if you've not done it before. You've got enough time to come and spend some time in the forest. Yeah. Right then, Flying Dutchman? Right then. Or George and the Dragon? Uh, George and the Dragon. Yeah, let's do it. George and the Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> So just did a quick nice little journey on uh, Vogel Rock, my favourite ever 
indoor roller coaster. It's oh, so it's good. It's so good, isn't it? It's the way an indoor coaster should be, which is dark and fast. Um, and there is a rumour apparently that they blow wind in your face to make it seem like you're going faster. <laughs> See, I don't think they do because I was actually trying to feel where the air comes from and it is kind of over the train, the car. Well, it could be. It could be above you though. It could, could be. be. All the way around. It's actually in the system rather than on the train. When I was on there, now I know that, now I was on there, I was actually quite aware that there was a lot of wind blowing at you. Yeah, a lot, but it's, who knows? <laughs> we don't know. But if you do know, if you used to work here or you currently work here, just, just message me, tell me, do they blow wind in your I'd face? like to get to the bottom of that. <laughs> it's quite good. So yeah, we're going to go on our way now, over to George and the Dragon. Such a good GCI coaster, dueling coaster as well. toilets um, and what they've done is they've closed down the normal toilets because obviously they're really hard to social distance in and just have these and then you just basically get your own portal really but it's I think it's a really good solution they've got a few of these around the park now um, but yeah and obviously you can see with this queue this is for Python which I'm not sure if we're gonna have a chance to do I really would like to do it because I loved it when I did it last time they retracked this a few years ago Classic arrow coaster, looping coaster. A really good little thing. Um, but yeah, they, a lot of the queues are like this, where they're just to sort of trail and snake around out of the actual queue line, just to try and maintain that social distancing. So as you can see over there, it's a bit, bit, bit of a cattle pen queue. But when you're in the queue line, people do respect your distance, which I think is really good. The Jawling GCI. Oh, the kid. Yeah. Got a beer. Got a beer. Let's go. Lads on tour. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're on the water side. We ice, ice in the queue, but we met Marta. It's a beautiful evening.
Was she prepared for that? Yes! <laughs> that was so quick. I always forget how brutal GCIs are, man. <laughs> They're so good. I love them. So, awesome ride there on George and the Dragon. Absolutely brilliant GCI. GCI are my favourite wooden coaster manufacturer in the world. Woody manufacturer in the world. Um, <clears throat> Even over RMC, I know they're hybrid, but I would take a GCI over an RMC any day. So whippy, I love it. So now we're gonna do my favorite dark ride in the world, and often Rise of the Resistance. And that ride is called Flying Dutchman. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> So we're now in the symbolic queue. And we're so happy because we literally had to run here after we did uh, the Flying Dutchman. We didn't think we'd get on Symbolica today, but we made it. <laughs> and Flying Dutchman is still my number one. Favourite dark ride. Oh. That's the first time I did it after Rise of Resistance and it, uh, it still is my favourite dark ride. It it's got incredible. everything you need in a ride. It's got that awesome dark ride element and it's also got the roller coaster element. That stormy sequence inside where you're like on the boat and it like starts the thunderstorm and stuff. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so cool. It's so good. It's just, ah. Oh. It's like proper immersive. Like it different. really is. This was the first trackless dark ride that I've done and I loved it. Yeah, same with me, yeah. First trackless dark ride I've done. Yeah, yeah. And I've done loads since because we then we did, but then we went over to Florida and we did Rise of Resistance, uh, Mickey and Minnie. Um, that's it, isn't it? That's the only dark rides with uh, yeah. trackless dark and rides. I do remember them. riding them and comparing them to Symbolica, and yeah. Symbolica is just, I don't know, it's that Efteling charm, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's like what we're into, man. Fantasy, medieval stuff. Yeah. It's great, it's I love it. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, it was advertised 90 minutes for Flying Dutchman, but we did it in. About 50? 50, yeah. yeah. 50. Smashed it. Amazing. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so now we're going to do this magical dark ride. It's now about half nine. We kind of got it, we didn't do it at Akinora, but saying that, we did it last time, didn't we? But it was light, but it's still like light now, isn't it? Yeah, that's the fountain show, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the, the, the fountain yeah. show. That's like their equivalent to like a fireworks show. And it wouldn't have been that much different. Like you say, it's not exactly dark now. Well, it happened at half, it happened at nine. I didn't finish at half nine. So yeah, it's just about starting to get pretty dark, so 
We're happy with our decision. Now we're now inside the palace. This is very strange because normally what they will do is they'll let you in in groups. A bit like uh, Haunted Mansion, Phantom Manor, they will normally let you in groups and then they'll start a show. Um, and then stairs will open with smoke and it's really, really impressive. But at the minute, because of what's going on, they're kind of just uh, leaving it open for people to go down. Guys, <laughs> Pardo. <laughs>
It's amazing already. If you could have a smell of vision right now. Oh. Sean, look back at the Symbolica building. Look at that. That's incredible. So that brings us to the end of the day of our day at Efteling and it has been a fantastic day. Oh, it's been amazing. Absolutely loved it. 12 and a half hours on park, yes. <laughs> it's just been as good. Like we come last September, we had a two days in the park and we're so glad. It is, if you've never done it before, it's a two day park. 100% <laughs> agree. We didn't get on everything today, but we've yeah. been here before. So it was, we, prioritize what we wanted to do didn't we we kind of took it easy with the with the day today because we knew that we had even we had a long day but we wanted to take it easy because it this park is about just doing what you want to do and just taking the yeah. whole environment just soaking in, in the atmosphere is what it's all about and it's just I just can't get over how much I love this park now just because we say we love it doesn't mean you're necessarily gonna love it it's you've got to have a kind of a certain taste really hey Fox Villa YouTube <laughs> <laughs> Getting frog bombed. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's great. It's an awesome atmosphere. We love being here. Everyone's really friendly. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> and uh, as you can tell, everyone loves it. But yeah, we've had a great day. Tomorrow we're going to be at Fantasia Land. Um, obviously, if, if this is a local park to you, or you grew up with this park, we love hearing kind of other people's comments on the park and how they grew up with it. So just let us know in the comments. I love it. So, yeah. anything else to say? <laughs> just cannot wait to get back here again, honestly. <laughs> Same. This is, this is for, since we come last year, this is a park that we've done. We want to do like every single year from now on. So it's going to be a staple park. So lovely. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. If you're not subscribed, give it a subscribe. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. So see you later. Bye.